Today we are going to start. Okay. To understand first ERP6 with EHP5 product. Mm -hmm. How to start? What are the options in that? What is the architecture of ERP6 with EHP7? The advantages. There is SAP Business Logistics product. Mm -hmm. Called as ERP6 with EHP5. Any version you can see. Mm -hmm. To start this product, first we have to start. SAP server. You can see on desktop, there is SAP management console. Mm -hmm. Now we cannot see this is the server, which is we are connecting a remote server. So suppose if you install this product in your LAPI, you can find out this SAP management console. We are using a remote server. We cannot start this, but we must know the concept. We have to select and start with open option. We have to provide authorization details, authentication details. So there is a username and password. So it shows process status S. Then we can connect the server. Then to connect server, on desktop, we have to select SAP GUI logon pad. SAP GUI logon pad. You can see very clearly here, it is showing. Okay. Fine, good. So you can see there is one log on pad screen. There is an icon you can see, mm -hmm. SAPG on log on pad. Okay. Once you double click on SAP log on pad, It will ask to provide logon details. You need to install SAP Geon logon pad in your software, in your desktop. Mm -hmm. How to install, I will send you a mail to you yes. on software. Mm -hmm. There is one SAP GA 7.4, you can see this. Mm -hmm. You have to open this. Again, you have to open this. And again, you have to open GUI. You can see in Windows. Mm -hmm. In Win32, you can see there is one SAP GUI setup exe file. Mm -hmm. If you select this and select S, 
there is a window will come to install SAP Logon Pad software. You have to click on Next. We have to select first two check boxes. First one second, already by default will come. After that, click on Next, automatically click on Finish. It will install automatically. Okay. Once it is installed, you will get this SAP GUI Logon Pad screen. Here we have to create a connection. You have to select the connection, right click new entry, click on next. We have to provide these details, server details. Okay. These things they will provide. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. can communicate with Ritika. Okay. Yeah. So we are using this as a server. You can see in the ID we can mention. This is the server address. Okay. Once you select, click on log on. It will ask to provide log on details. Here it is going to ask three different details. You can see this is the log on pad details. Mm -hmm. So we have to provide a log on details. Here you can see your client performs to connect selected organization. Suppose using SAP software, that one are having four or five companies, four or five different companies is having. Hitting. Your owner is having four or five different companies is having. All the four or five companies, they can communicate as four, five different clients. Mm -hmm. One company is oils, another company is gas, another company is pharma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And username, we have to provide username mm -hmm. and password and long ways is en english okay after providing log on details just let me connect I can just click on this logon icon, automatically you will see the full screen. Mm -hmm. By default, client is 800. It is an organization data client. Mm -hmm. That means using software, SAP, we can manage multiple organizations as multiple clients. All the client's data we can just store into same software. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other software they will show as a different folders, but here everything is one software. Mm -hmm. Now I will provide a username and provide password. Mm And I have to provide long which is E N. Mm -hmm. Once you press enter, automatically you will get the product default screen. Mm -hmm. This is a default screen you can see. Okay? Yeah. So after successful login. It shows SAP default menu screen. Okay.
and here you can see in this screen you can see there is one drop down list mm -hmm. this drop down list can be called as sap gateway from here we can run any business application just providing t code transaction mm -hmm. here we can execute any business application through transaction that means with t code mm -hmm. suppose i want to create database i can go transaction code sc11 i want to create a program then i'll go to transaction code sc38 okay i want to develop server side programming function builder so are these state pre installed or yes predefined these are all yeah. it's all predefined i'll explain you don't worry okay. so this is the drop down we can call the rest you can see sap menu here you can see the office this office is used for network administration telephone integration network rooms okay workflow communicate mailing all these things this controlled by administrator the next option is called cross application components this option is used for integration process work between servers different destinations you want to communicate your business data between departments online without annual manual interactions we have to use this you can see the next option is called logistics here you have options like material management sales production plant maintenance every option is available these are all daily business function operations okay mm -hmm. separate accounts model you can see using this we can run all accounts operations of an organization mm -hmm. not only that my accounts department can talk to any other company accounts department mm -hmm. we can communicate eda letter drafting any transactions data trans communications everything we can do human resources this is for daily business functional administration process you know mm -hmm. personal management time management payroll learning organization management travel management information systems environment health system is all things standard things they developed mm -hmm. this information system is used for any queries to see information it means any department's information you want to see we can do it using this mm -hmm. after that you can see there is a option tools if we expand this you can see there is a option called above workbench mm -hmm. is a work environment where all technical consultants can perform to create new objects to modify sap developed objects we don't want to change sap core but we want to provide additional core enhancements mm -hmm. in above work bench you can see there is one development option here you can see most of the applications are above slash for transaction codes it is designed uh, everything with t codes mm -hmm.
can see the transaction codes here for every application t codes it is showing mm -hmm. okay this is exactly default menu of web app screen so once you edge code this you can see that these are the sap default menu options okay mm -hmm. and you can see that this is or let's say drop down list correct it shows as a drop down list what is exact it will do it performs as sap gateway execute or run any business application providing with transaction code providing with t code this is nothing more called as a transaction t code okay here there are some operational commands are there you want to come out from sap slash nex it come out so we can exit from sap again i log in no need to type english by default text as english only okay mm -hmm. suppose i want to create sales order sales model there is a t code vh01 automatically sales order application sd model screen will come i want to create purchase order then again i will enter me21 it's a defined defined transaction code predefined standard but it will not go already in this window this application is locked correct mm -hmm. we have to exit this application and open another application then we have to mention slash n mm -hmm. the n means it's come out from this application mm -hmm. then i'll say me21 it is going to show purchase order in the same window no i want to open one window sales order i want to open another window purchase order at a time multiple session windows i want to open parallelly different process transactions i want to execute then i have to use slash o yeah if you're getting the clock symbol in the down that indicates so far nobody used the transaction code it takes time to process okay. once first process is over second time when it comes it comes very faster this application for purchase order creation okay mm -hmm. now i want to open another window then i have to use slash op opens a new session window i'll say be h0 immediately it opens a new window you can see here two windows are there you want to come back to back screen slash n like this we can see okay sap has provided two types of helps any application when you executing when you come to here category i don't know what do you mean category if you press f1 it shows a help screen correct mm -hmm. what is this screen feed it is a category what are the different types of categories in nice notes mm -hmm. and it shows the complete tick information what is this screen feed which program which table it is communicating everything
here i don't know what category i have to select you can see there is a square box is showing mm -hmm. this is called search help if i just click on this it will show you a help for search help for selection of unknown key field data here this is the standard category codes you have to select from here other than this it will not allow i can select it is a third party like this you can select and if you want to come back press f3 to previous screen you want to come out from this slash nex to come out s mm -hmm. so there are some gateway operational commands are there slash n e x exit scp system slash n back to scp menu screen slash n if enter t code exit current application and show in same window t code application transaction application new transaction application slash wo to opens a new window and slash o t code transaction code opens a new session window and executing okay transaction application okay this is the important where we can use there are functional key operations are there f1 for document help shows taking information into screen field mm -hmm. and f4 it is a search help selection of unknown key field master data and f3 it is back to previous screen screen four f8 process or execute the foreground to see output these are all uh, major uh, i mean standard t codes mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. while operational you can understand then what is there in the sap menu options so sap menu design with options office cross applications okay and logistics accounting okay human resource okay tools information system and tools we have the options here here office used for network administration system and cross applications used for integration process between department department can use and logistics it is used for daily business functional operation like mm sd production planning controlling plant maintenance quality management so on so 
than accounting. It is a full-fledged software used for accounts, finance, investment, and controlling. These are all things we can do. The next human resource. It is used for okay administration, like employee payroll. time management, etc. The next information system. Okay, it shows any logistics models. Okay, applications information. The next you can see tools. In this you can find there is one Above workbench. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Our developers has to work using this. Mm -hmm. It is work process environment. I can call it as it is a environment. Okay, we can develop. We can customize, okay, and uh, we can enhance. Enhancement means uh, additional changes and testing. These are all things we can do here. So here, a buffers, like technical consultants, works with SAP projects work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will use to work here. So SAP has provided this option. Again, in SAP menu, in tools, in above workbench, in this, you can see there is one development. It is designed as above slash four, a standard transaction course tools for development process. Now you want to create any application, you want to open SAP application to modify, you have to come to here, development process. And these standard transactions follows a standard naming, stand, naming standards follows naming standards. Starts with SE or SM or WE like this, you can see. T quotes. Here, what is exactly SE stands for? System engineer. So with these tools, We can perform development. SM, this is called system maintenance. So here, this is something maintenance operation. Any lock process, unlock, backup, copy, these are all things we can do. Mostly it is controlled by network administrator. This is workbench environment. This is used for integration process, data exchange, information. These are all things we can see.
so there are some standard t codes are there okay yeah again in above workbench creating a new objects or tables or other programs save process design two types one is called local object another is called package so whenever you create a new application you have to save this local object used save process local into server local into application server cannot perform transport transport management you cannot transport objects from one server to another server mm -hmm. if you give packets it performs transport management from server to server online so these all things important we should understand let us see what are the above slash for t codes which t code is what is the purpose you should know here once you expand tools in above workbench once you expand development you can see there are so many tools are there each one is a different transaction codes so you must know about all these things mm -hmm. so while working with in environment in the project work these transaction codes we can use for development These are all above slash four t codes. Mm -hmm. It is a fourth generation long way tool. Mm the first t code you can see sc11 this is called above data dictionary it's a sap database it is a sap logical database and it is a central source for all logistics models standard structures design as database tables so first initially we have to learn this two suppose for example sales model once user submit sales orders what type of data storing in the tables we have to know the next sc38 this is above it here 
here we can create a new above foreground with the different foreground types like one foreground for client side one foreground for server side one foreground for selection process we can also debug the foreground and also test the foreground these all things we can do initially learning about basics programming we have to use this to sc38 the rest you can see there is another one is called sc37 this is function builder using this we can develop server side applications server side logic process we can develop server side process logic for business applications so sap has developed all standard business modules logic with function modules on there is one more is there ac24 this is called class builder this also we can develop server side okay process as class library components called as abap objects using o abap object oriented programming okay so before working we must have this tools very important okay there are some other t codes out there you can see in the left side which is called se 51 this is a screen paint using this we can design gui screen layouts uh, with a drag and drop system and we can provide a background logic and we can execute the logic with events handling like button click check box checked menu selected all these things and ac41 this is called menu painter so we here we can design without programming a application menu bar with the menu item options and application toolbar with icon buttons these all things we can use for sc41 okay these are the important t codes we can use suppose once you join in sap organization you are working with a team lot of people use this tool this is called sc80 object navigator it shows sap developed objects in detail information 
whatever is developed inside how many screens how many menus how many tables used it performs as above development workbench directly we can create any application without providing transaction code without providing transaction code so most in real time most of the people they will use this tool only sc80 after some time i'll promote you to use this tool there is another tool is there swdd this is business workflow builder <coughs> using this we can perform task management automatic okay mailing process everything we can do mailing test process between business operation you want to send a mail then you need internet correct mm -hmm. without internet you cannot but here using sap server between users in sd department once user submitted sales order the manager has to access to change on the sales order automatically once clerk and user has created sales order once submitted automatic mail goes to the manager to change this is automatic task management the rest there is one more t code is there sw01 this is business object builder here we can create business engineering objects for flat form independent applications using with babis interfaces i have my product my product sales i want to run worldwide with amazon with flipkart also that time in sap we will develop one business engineering object in that we will keep interfaces these interface automatic calls to amazon clients flipkart clients automatic transactions process automatic logic process everything there is one more t code is there stms this is called transport organizer it transports sap r3 the repository okay the business product whatever is developed objects or programs or collection online from server to server that is from development server into quality server and then into production company server automated through network you will transfer so these are all important t codes above slash for transaction codes used for development process especially for abapers has to use these tools good comfortable yes sir right are you falling or sleeping no nah. <laughs> it's very interesting i must think i'm sleep no way no way <laughs> <laughs> okay
you can see that SC37, this is the function builder. Mm -hmm. SAP has developed many applications here. You can see there is one application. You can see here coding part. Mm -hmm. Between function and function, whatever you write logic, this logic never comes into client side, always processor server side. Mm -hmm. And this is the SQL programming. We can write to talk to table. And if it is record is not found, this is the error. It receives user dub metric request. And it ends the vendor information. Suppose it is failed, it returns the exception. You can see it very clearly. It is saying vendor is not found, exception raised. Mm -hmm. If I enter 1000, you can see that record details has come. Okay. This is a memory entire record around 120 volts information it gives. Here the advantage here is SAP has provided the function models between function and function, function, function model name, and end function. You can write application logic, you can write database logic, no connection. Here we will use SQL language, structure query language to talk to table. Okay, understanding. So very important, powerful tools we can use. So to start SAP basics programming, first we should learn SAP database. So let us start first process to start. We have to start with SAP R3 database. What I said, it is designed physical database and logical database. When you go for a physical database, SAP has licensed with Oracle 12.2G for database administration process. Here, DBA people, DBA qualified person, okay, maintenance, a backup process. That is, uh, you know, hot backup. And cold backup. Cold backup means stop the server, take entire database, copy all files. Hot backup means some of the tables, partially data you want to take. But this is no requirement for this. This is DBS will take care. And next is logical database. This is nothing but called as a data dictionary. Transaction code SC11. What's the purpose? I can say it is a central source of a logical database, main is area. To communicate and manipulate data for logistics models. I mean accounts, sales, everything for all end users with SAP server into worldwide. So it is designed different types of database objects like basic database objects that is nothing but called as a database tables, 
structures, data elements, domains, and table types. And it is also designed aggregate database objects like here it is used views such help and logs is the main advantage where we can use to play by using this Fine, so far so good. How this data dictionary box? I'll give you a nice picture, then you know, forget. This is UK. This is USA. This is India. In world, all people are like India. Why? India providing medicine to all the countries. Hydrochloric. You know that? So this is a USA. This is the UK. And this is India. And here, whatever they are operating, the data you can see. Here also. You have a data dictionary. Here all tables are there. Here we have a logistics. Here FICO module, okay, SD module, MM module, production planning, control model, okay, HR model. Like this, so many models are there. Mm -hmm. So in a, in USA, these all people are operating their data with this. And here also, UK also is operating these all models. In India also, they're operating these all models. Mm -hmm. Good. So there are so many end users. There are so many end users. Is the end user. He'll be working for end users. They're also working for end users. Mm -hmm. And here also working for end users. So it will be working users connecting the server. And here also working, connecting with the server. And here also connecting with the server. So these are all end users. So in country, wherever users are connecting, they can see their information, everything through data system, not physical database. Here in this end user, one sales department guy has connected the server. He wants to see sales out data. His data comes from table, through SD module, through ABAP logic, he will see. Again, this user gone to UK and connected the server remotely through cloud integration. Again, they requested the transaction code. That time, his data comes through this table, through this model, to here only. So it is a central source. Suppose there is some data has to go from USA to UK, or from UK to U USA, or from USA to UK. Different servers data you want to exchange, that time they will use IDOCs. Here, IDOX performs intermediate document to exchange the data. That means from here, they'll pick up some data from this table records, moves from the server to here, and pick up and stores into this table. Finally, here you can see very clearly, okay, here, data dictionary is the central source of logical database maintenance area to communicate anywhere to your business application data. 
so we can call it as it is a central source good clear are you following yes sir yes sir are you there yeah yeah can you hear me yes yes okay So first, we should know while you're working this type of environment with WAN system, value-added network system. First, how database is communicating for users? Any user anywhere log in once accessing the server, then their data is coming everything through data dictionary. So today we are going to start. Data dictionary. T code is SC11. What is SC stands for? System engineering. Yeah, good. I'm happy you're not sleeping. No. no. <laughs> what you had breakfast? Oh, I, I had a lot today. Because it's a bit cool in the morning, so I usually eat a lot when it's when the weather is a bit cooler. What's the temperature there now in your place? Oh, you're oh. Manchester, no? No, no, uh, Milton Keynes. No, you're from where, London? I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm from Manchester, but I'm based in Milton Keynes, which is near London. Near London, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a bit cooler. This, the sun is out now, but it was very cold in the morning. Oh. So mm -hmm. I had, What's the temperature? Minus 20? The, the temperature here today is about 12, 13. Canada is minus 10. Huh? Canada is minus 10. Is it again, sir? Canada. Canada country is minus 10. Toronto. Canada country having minus 10 temperature. Oh, know, yeah. Your... yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's a bit warm because we are, we are in the summer, summertime here. So, yeah. but in the morning, it gets very cold and it gets warmer as the day goes by. Okay. Good. So let us come first understanding about, I said it is a central source. Mm -hmm. What is exactly concept of database? How can you say database? How you can define database? Oh, so uh, organized information, something? I can say it is a central source of, sorry, it is a collection of information. Yeah. Having an interrelated data, correct? Mm -hmm. And is design structure, operations, and integrity, correct? Mm -hmm. When you come to structure, here it consists a columns or fields. It refers data storage type, correct? Mm -hmm. As a data type, correct? Number, character, date, like this. And what do you mean operations? This is not about data manipulation, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, inserting records, modifying records, and deleting records, correct? Yeah. These all things we can call it as operations. Then what is integrity? This is accessibility, accessing the data mm -hmm. with queries, correct? Yeah. Units. I want some information. We can use it easily identified the data, correct? Yeah. Good. So when you come to using SAP data dictionary, in data dictionary, all business application data stores into database tables. Let me show you. I cannot server once again. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm going to SC11. Mm -hmm. You have 
different types of objects you can see on the screen. You can see. Here, all business application data communicates with the database tables. If you go Oracle, Microsoft SQL, where they call as the tables. Yeah. Here we can call it as database table. Mm -hmm. There are different database objects out there. We have to know because everything has to be created, but we must know each object, what's the purpose, when to use, where to use. So now I'm providing database table for accounts. They created a table called KNA1. It is just like German pronunciation. It's a predefined, the design for customer. Mm -hmm. If you click on display, they designed this table around 178 fields. Of course, 178 columns we can call. It holds records. So this one represents as one record. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one record. You can see beside these are all fields. Mm -hmm. But here you have a small difference. Here you can see the field name. Every table having two key fields. It is showing a checkbox key. Mm -hmm. Here, no commanding. Everything is navigation steps. Why a table having two key fields? The first key field to hold multiple organizations data. Suppose 800 for oils, 810 for gas, 811 for pharma. All the three customers maintained in the same table can be identified by client. That is, this field is called M A N D T is the field name. Here you have a data type is C L N T. This is the data storage type. If the table field having data type is C L N T client, that table can hold multiple organizations data as multiple clients. But once you log in, your client, that is 800 you log in, you cannot see other client data. But, but how do you communicate nest your record? The nest record is called Kunnor, customer number. Here, most of table field names is four to five characters. Mm -hmm. They did not wasted field names, lengthy characters. It's a batch wasted, correct? Mm -hmm. And this key stands for primary key. You know primary key? Does not allow duplicate, maintain the relation with other table, mm -hmm. and it holds only unique records, correct? Yeah. And you can see beside there is a checkbox. This is called initial values. That means should not be null. If something a value has to be given at the time of storing the data. Okay, when you come to using with this, Every field refers, there is one column you can see data element. And if you double click on this, in this field, it will tell you, Kunnar, nobody knows pronounceable, correct? Mm -hmm. In field level, it is going to communicate, it treats as a customer. In the front end, end user is operating some application, slash O. I'll say XT03. This is the T code to see customer details in the front end, geo application. Mm -hmm. See, it is showing a screen, correct? Mm -hmm. This is the front end, end user will do. This is the screen field. Beside that, you have a customer is there, correct? Mm -hmm. This customer is coming from here only. Good. After that, you can see here further characteristics. Here we have a search help. Here when a user wants to enter customer. Okay. 
once again. Yeah. Again, I'll enter XT03. Again, I'll type. So you'll see a screen here. Mm -hmm. Here, customer, I have to enter. I don't know customer number. You can see there is one scare box. Okay. If you click on this, a help will come. This is called search help. Okay. If you press enter, it will show you a list of existed records in the customer numbers from table. Okay. Here, user can see the customer number. Once a selection, automated data will come here, whatever is selected record. That is the advantage. Why you kept in the table field? Suppose in my front end geo applications, there is a customer skin field in the screens, customer skin field around 250 times repeated in every model. Wherever you go, customer field, this search help will come. Wherever you go, this customer field, it shows the description as a customer. That is called data element. They maintain a common thing. Technical, they're given as Kunnar. This is a backend. Functional, they call as a customer. Here, again, you have a data type. Do you know the concept of constraint? Yeah, yeah. In the database, yeah. In the SQL. Pardon? Yeah, you, you should constraint S, SQL. Yeah, structure yeah. query language. Yeah. In SQL, while you create table in Oracle, you have a constraint checking invalid data before writing the information into database. Yeah. Okay. Here, this is domain is nothing but a constraint checking invalid data before writing the information to database. Here, in this domain, I can provide it can store alphanumeric data type, maximum is 10. It restricts any sign, lowercase. Suppose a numeric, it restricts some fixed value or any limit if you provide, it will not allow more than that. These all things we can provide in the domain. So here, in every standard table, every field refers data element, and every data element refers to domain. In domain, we will provide data storage type and limitations, restrictions. In data element, we will communicate information about text and communicate about such help. These all things. So this screen field could not is repeated any application screen in GUI template, wherever showing the screen field. Okay, it shows the application with the help. It shows the application with the screen display as customer. So one common thing is provided in the data element domain, that's the secret. But in SAP, every database table has to maintain delivery maintenance, fields, and technical settings. These are all components of database table. In delivery maintenance, I need to provide delivery class and table maintenance. What is delivery class? All business application data maintains as application table, master, and transaction. Some tables are customizing maintenance only by customer. Some tables are table for storing temporary data delivered empty, we can do it. Okay, understand, got the point here. So these all things we can maintain, what type of table it is. After that you can see table view maintenance, display maintenance allowed with restrictions, allowed, not allowed. If the display maintenance allowed with restrictions, 
you cannot do any changes you cannot enter everything through front end program most of tables it follows option is allowed with registrations why means end users has to do through program only application not directly to table correct mm. suppose i will enter 50 sales orders today by evening somebody guy opened my table and deleted records what happened no security correct mm -hmm. that's why most of the tables having allowed with registrations that means everything operational from program you cannot do it directly into table mm -hmm. suppose if you mention as allowed yes i can open the table i can add i can modify i can delete okay. not allowed means something organization data country codes currency these are the standard we never change okay the next technical settings in technical settings we can provide data class it will tell you about what type of table it is whether it is a master transaction organization master means unique records hmm. transaction means duplicate records organization means nothing more of customizing data correct mm -hmm. and we can give a limit here it is mentioned 3 Three means maximum ten thousand customers it can store. Mm -hmm. Once it is crossed ten thousand records, you cannot. Then here you have a buffering option. You can buffering switch it on. Then automate it. This suggests three to four. Again four to five. Like this, whenever it is crossed, it resuggests. But most of the tables it is having buffering not allowed only. Why means buffering is also part of database server side memory. if you keep all the tables buffering allowed again server becomes slow with memory correct mm -hmm. there are some transaction that like amazon organization sales having lags in a day correct mm -hmm. that time throughout world they are receiving lags of transactions so they are maintaining in the database it may cross some limit it is automatically has to go resize that time they'll keep buffering on <coughs> so this is exactly database table how it is going to maintain okay once the tab table is built if the maintenance allowed you can add a record directly from here using this option table contents create entries now it is in disable why means it is with restrictions suppose if it is allowed then it is going to use okay. but it is a predefined table you cannot change if suppose if you click on change it last to provide the access key now you want to see the records you can click on this contents and click on execute you can see all the records i don't want to see all the records i can apply query select the customer 1000 to 1005 i want to see all the fields then i'll increase the screen width once i execute you can see all the records only 1000 to 1005 is showing here no commanding suppose you want to see records in table oracle You need to apply cell star from table name, correct? Mm. Good. So there is no any programming here in the data dictionary. Everything is the navigation steps. You can do it easily to follow this. Okay. Good. Comfortable? Yes, sir. Good. Let's have five minutes break. Get relief. Lot of theory we covered. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Get relief. I can have a break fast and come back. Yeah. Thanks.
Hello. Uh, so how are you? Yeah. Yes. Had breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> I just have myself a little chocolate bar or so. Okay. So let us understand about concept about database table. Yeah. So database table it holds business application physical data mm -hmm. here yeah. data ordinances as rows and fields what is a row is a collection of fields correct mm -hmm. Here, every field refers data element and domain. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here, data element holds field document information. Correct. Mm -hmm. And here, domain holds okay, restriction data type and restrictions we can call it the limitations okay. for example sap already designed all standard tables you can see standard tables If you open the table K in your one, it's a customer master table. You can see that design of the fields, how it is designed with the table. You can see very clearly here, it's a standard table K in your one customer master. Mm -hmm. This part is nothing but called as a key fields. What do you mean exactly key field? Key field means to communicate record, correct? Okay. And in this you can see, okay, it is communicate record. And here, every field refers data element correct mm -hmm. and this data element refers data type yeah. but in between this you have a domain correct What is the domain? It holds limitations, correct? Restrictions. Mm -hmm. We can provide some limitations. Maximum of 10 alphanumeric, like this we can provide. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the database table architecture. So when I go for using this, every database table having standard components. Before that, you must know one more important in above book bins. So all standard SAP programs, naming standards starts with SAP followed by domain program type, followed by, okay, domain name, which domain belongs. Then after that, you can see program name. For example, I can say SAP, I'll say M. This is the program type geo application. And this is 
mm model and after that program name you can give okay like this it is good to organize okay and all user defined creation okay naming standards starts okay first character with z or y followed by name here z stands for user defined and y stands for it is a core system any background process we can use okay. suppose other than z or y when we provide name we have to provide scp access key okay. so this access key generates from sap software portal why well, means sap already having all predefined software it's correct mm -hmm. in this you want to add then it last to access key so in database table it holds a components what are the components whenever you want to create a database table we need to provide delivery and maintenance here we need to provide delivery class and we need to maintain table maintenance permission okay then after that we need to provide technical setting in technical settings we need to provide data class what type of data it is here it says awpl0 is the master data correct mm -hmm. and awpl1 is a transaction data mm -hmm. that is duplicate records awpl2 this is for organization data or that every table will have indexing this is nothing but of key field index what is this index arrange the data in order to search the data very faster okay so when you want to create a, a table we need to mention these all things to provide otherwise we cannot build the table for. okay <coughs> and when you come to here fields every table also fields here every field the first data element correct yes sir mm -hmm. and here it is going to having data type and width in between data element and data type already you know just now i shown to you internally it holds a domain correct mm -hmm. in this we can provide registrations and if you try to open the table field here also you have a dot include this is not data element it follows a structure and you can see dot append this also follows slash directory and structure here also maintain structure so you want to build a database table first you must know data element and domain creation okay mm -hmm. then only we can build the table and when you want to create a table you need to maintain technical settings these all things we need to mention so here database table have a delivery maintenance technical settings and field so when you want to create a table you must provide all these things but before that you must have an idea about domain you must have an idea about data element okay i'm starting i think you spoke to ritika i think you will ask about server remote server correct mm -hmm. sap server do you have sap in your lappy 
Um, I have, I have something. The um, it's not the same standard. The old version. I mean, so they have you installed SAP software with anybody hardware person? No, the 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 guy my wife put it on my system. Okay. So you need to install in your software SAP or you can take uh, remote server with Indu. Correct. You communicated Indu, no? Um, Whom you communicated? London IT training. No, um, it's just it, it's it's someone from the IT the IT department where I work. And he just to show me the um, how the SAP screen looks like. But Fine. I don't, but I'm not. I don't think it has the um. We call it the uh, data to for me to work on it. I don't have to have the screen to work with. Can you find it? Uh, SAP GUI login pad in your desktop is there? No. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, yeah the GUI is there, but there's no data, no server. Server, yes. There's so no you server. have this SAP login pad, correct? Yeah, yeah. Then they'll give you remote server. I think you can talk to. Now what I'm using the same server, they'll give it to you. Okay. Fine. Good. So first we should understand. Okay. What are the predefined data types are there? Without this, we cannot create domain, all these things. So let us understand first, what is exactly data type? It is selection of data storage, correct? Mm -hmm. Type, that is a number or character. Okay, a date. Okay, time or picture, like this, whatever of data you're going to store. Mm -hmm. And in data dictionary, it supports 23 to 28 data types. Mm -hmm. Standard data types are there. Mm -hmm. If you see CLNT, is a client data type. Mm -hmm. That means, okay, restricts multiple clients. That means it is a client dependent. Mm -hmm. So one table can hold multiple organization data. Mm -hmm. So table holds multiple organizations data mm -hmm. as different clients. The next we have another data is called LANG. It stores 120 countries long ways. Oh. data. You have a dance. This is date in, okay, hours, minutes, sorry, Y, 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 mm -hmm. MM, DD format. Again, Tim's. This is time in hours, minutes, seconds. Mm -hmm. And character, this is all for text with number, okay? Mm -hmm. Text format. And numsy numbers only in character. Okay. Similarly, you have integer one store maximum of 255 value. Okay. Integer two, it is two byte storage of number. Integer four is a four byte storage of number. You have some long, it's a text data. Mm -hmm. Ra. This is the binary picture data. Mm -hmm. And L raw. This is a text with binary. Mm -hmm. There are some referred data types out there. Okay. One is uh, C U R R. It holds currency value. And if you keep one field, is CURR, currency value, you must maintain currency document. Mm -hmm. How do you measure? Euros, dollars, pounds, mm -hmm. rupees. Mm -hmm. Again, you are storing a material quantity, QAN. Mm -hmm. So it is a quantity. And if you keep quantity, you must have unit of measure. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you cannot uh, create a table. These are listed of uh, 
standard data types. Mm -hmm. So first to create the database table, first we should understand how to create a domain, how to create a data element. Mm -hmm. So before creating database table, okay, we must have knowledge of data element and domain. Okay, what we'll do in the domain? So domain performs as a constraint that is checking invalid data mm -hmm. before writing the data into database. So it holds data <coughs> type and limitations. What is limitations? Expression. Width, sign, lowercase, range, and fixture values. These all things, if you give it, will restrict. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then what is data element? Data element, it holds table field document information. Mm -hmm. It holds table field short description. Mm -hmm. And field label text to display a GUA desktop screen, screen field. It holds such help for selection of unknown key field data. For any field it is going to take care. And it holds data type with the domain, with restriction. Okay, so let us start today, how to create a domain, how to create a data element. Then in the next session, we'll go for practical everything. So the next day onwards, we have a complete practical session. Mm -hmm. So with this today, we completed a successfully practical session. I mean, theoretical sessions is over. Yeah. So let us start um, creation of a domain. You can take server, you can also start to practice, okay? Mm -hmm. So create a domain for customer number field, okay? Mm -hmm. Having data type, character, maximum of 10 byte storage. After that, we have to activate. Here, what is exactly activate? Here, activation means it generates runtime process object where we can perform functioning in server. Without activation, we cannot run any object in the server, in a program or an object. First, what I have to do? Step one, okay, desktop. Select mm -hmm. SAP GUA logon pad, correct? Provide login details. Okay. Next, in SAP menu, gateway. Gateway means already I told you, drop down, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we'll call as HQ transfer code. What is that? SC11. HQ transfer code SC11. Select radio button, domain, and provide, okay, domain name as ZM Moses DM1. I can give like this. Yeah. Select radio button, domain, and provide domain name. 
after that click on create so i'm giving very clearly the steps here mm -hmm. so let's start so i'm providing user hope this user only should give i think okay first you need to hq transfer code is 11 like this i am writing screenshot for you i am giving very clear screenshots to you okay mm -hmm. here you can see radio button domain so provide radio button option domain mm -hmm. provide domain name z m for moses dm1 mm -hmm. and click on create mm -hmm. after that i need to provide okay short description select a data type character provide width 10 let me provide short description i am mentioning as a customer number okay mm -hmm. after that i have to select the data type how can i select the data type if you just press f4 mm -hmm. you can see data type character this is called f4 such a mm -hmm. i'll provide number of characters 10 and just press enter mm -hmm. and i will provide conversion routine alpha that means it is going to allow only alpha numerics Okay. Okay, press enter. After that, save. How to save control pluses? And activate control plus F3. While save control S, select option local object let me show you so when i click on save okay if you click on here you can see the save icon once you click it will show a window and leave the package name empty and click on local object after that we need to activate you can see there is an icon called activate. See that? Mm -hmm. Control F3. I'm giving clear screenshot to you, okay? Yeah. Once you click on this, press enter. Click on enter button. This tick symbol is nothing but of equal to enter, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, automatically the object is activated. How do you know this is activated? You can see here, activate. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Got it. Comfortable? Yeah, yeah, sure. How to provide limitations? I want to create a domain. We'll see another step. We want to create a domain. <coughs> For uh, employee field, employee job. Provide data type, character with maximum four byte storage, four bytes mm -hmm. storage with fixed job codes. That is manager means MNGR. Just to understand as a manager. Mm -hmm. CLRK, this is not part of clock. Mm -hmm. Salesman, SLMN, this is salesman. Like this, I want to provide. Okay, mm -hmm. how to do it? So now, transaction code is 11 screen. Again, select radio button. 
domain provide domain name what is that z m d m 2 okay. and click on create okay i'll come back i'll mention d m 2 i'll click on create provide short description So I'll mention this is the employee job, or I can say employee designation. Okay. I'll select character data. Number of characters is four. Just press enter. Mm And press enter. Okay. After that, select tab button. Okay, value range. Provide fixed values. I can click on value range here. Here you have a fixed value, correct? Mm -hmm. Here I'll mention M N G O. Manager, clerk, C L R K, clerk. Like this, I can provide. Mm -hmm. Good. Again, you want to insert another row? You just click on plus, insert row. Automatically, another row will come. Now salesman, S L M N. It is a salesman. Okay, understand. Got the point here. After that, control S to save. Good. Yes, sir. Then after that. Save with local object. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and every object should be activated. After that, activate. How do you activate? Control plus F3. Correct. Yeah. Where you can see activation here. This is the pencil symbol. Yeah. And press enter. Control F3 and enter. So like this, you can see, okay, domain creation. So what's happening here in this domain? It never allow other than the job codes, you know. So whatever you given job codes, only these job codes it allows. Okay. Yes or no? Put the point here. Comfortable. Yeah. So salesman, manager, and clerk. Everything it will take care. Mm -hmm. So, like this, every table having limitations. Of course, you can create the domain. Okay, fine, good. I'll give you access. Okay. Yes. Sir. Once you got server, you try this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Create. Domain for customer name field. Provide data type, character, maximum of 35 bytes for it. Mm -hmm. And save and activate. Good. Mm -hmm. Try one more access. Create domain customer date field, provide data type, that's, that's his date, mm -hmm. maximum of eight bytes. Mm -hmm. Why eight bytes? Because here it holds four bytes MMDD, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Save. 
and activate. So we completed successfully theoretical format. We are coming into practical. So in the next session, full practicals of data dictionary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Good.